Hello and welcome. I'm Giles, a Falang living in Thailand, Kalasin province near Takinto. I will show you around the farm today and what we've been doing since I've been here and what the parents do when we're not here. This is a rice field on the left hand side and over here the banana trees or plants rather and as we go up the drive we will see some trees here which are called jib jib trees and you get uh, a fruit off them which will be coming into fruit probably in the next month or so and they're like small similar tasting to apples but they're only the size of a cherry and there you can see the bananas growing on the trees and as we go up drive a bit further bamboo on the left hand side There's a free range chickens running around. We try and keep them in, but they always get out. There's a chicken and duck house, and we've got one turkey and two geese as well, which are further down the side in the ponds earlier. And as we come down the drive, got a little bit of bamboo fencing that we're growing plants up, fruit and vegetables up against. The wall, like edible vines that you eat, and then cucumber plants. And tomato plants. And then there's like that's an edge edible hedge that they'll eat at later on. Rats. Dad tries to grow rats in the rack there. And then a little garage where we store things. And then the kitchen where we cook all our food and everyday living and eat outside and to the house that we built still work in progress down to where the chilli plants are all chilies in here that we did grow. They've just been left to go now because the chili price is so poor it's not worth trying to do anything with the chilies. They're planted everywhere but we've just left them because there's no market in Thailand for chilies any longer. down here lovely and peaceful listening to the birds sing heading down towards the rice now we've got sticky rice which is a predominantly in all the fields with a small bit on a higher field which is grown for normal like jasmine rice, jasmine rice, which is normal rice. And then all this here is lemongrass, all up the sides, and that helps stop the erosion 
when it rains, it rains. Lots of rain. So we put all the lemon grass on top of the banks to keep to keep the thing keep the soil from washing away. And then lots of lots of banana plants everywhere. And you can eat the flower as well as the bananas. That's my dog, Bosco. And then this is the normal rice, boiled rice as you call it, which hasn't grown so well because it's on high land and it doesn't get the water. You see, we've got water sitting in there all the time, where this rice doesn't have the water at the moment. It's been so dry. Well, has been dry. We'll walk around this way. To the river, there's a river all the way around where the banana trees run, all the way around the edge of the property, which is lovely. We're very lucky to have that. Without that, that would be really hard work. So this is a river. I've dammed it up. Dad used to just put sticks in to try and hold the water back with mud. But I've dammed it up and put a pipe in with a tap on it. So much easier. And keep coming and check it every day but the soil is getting a bit porous at the moment so it's got it needs a bit more work so and then we just let the water from this river into the rice field and then all the rice fields are lower than this to control the water so as we go past the banana trees we'll head up to the fish pond There's Guayom, which is a red dog. There's a Thai dog, which is lovely. Which ours as well. And then there's more lemongrass on the right hand side. You can see some more chili plants that we've just left again. Add chili plants all the way around here with irrigation and everything. We've just taken it all up now. Until the chili market picks up, there's no point growing them. with coconut trees around the outside of the bank all the way around I think I can't see that and this is full of catfish absolutely thousands of catfish in here on another video I'll show you that one day when you feed them the water just comes alive and then this is a kind of a ginger plant here uh, and you have it that in Tom Yang curries and that kind of thing which is really nice and we'll go and show you some coconut plants now and everything there's the river again they're just dammed in sections there's a little dam section there and then you put some pipes in and you just let the, control the water level by letting water out in one section going down the river so up there I'll show you now there's a little house where father does the uh, frogs he breeds frogs in there they're full of little ponds and everything and then lemon tree and they're full of frogs I don't know if you can see them they're quite big frogs 
probably could show you that on a video with the catfish another day. So go around here. We've got lots of ponds in between all the coconut trees, which are good controls, helps the coconut trees with water and everything because it's very dry here in, in the dry season. More chilli plants. So, and then they've all got fish in, different types of fish and frogs. Okay, and then come through here with the frog. And then if I go up here, I'll show you the coconuts. These twigs I haven't got them because they're still young, quite young. But then you've got some more mature <coughs> more mature ones, which are full of coconuts. As you can see, and that one. <coughs> and I'll just show you the ducks before we go. and chickens uh, we've got some laying chickens as well as normal these are what the tires eat every day and there's not a lot of meat on them really to eat but they eat them in stocks and soups kind of thing and then in here we've got our uh, ducks and they're now starting to nest so we should have some ducklings soon. There's a lady there. There's a couple up in the corners. They're all sitting waiting. And they've all got access to these ponds. You see, you've got a little fence here. And they all got ponds, lots of ponds around in between the coconut trees. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, please subscribe and I will try and do another one. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.